Hey there. Tea time with tea. Just a little conversation. We need to discuss law enforcement in this country. We need to discuss that we seem to have forgotten that killing people is not the focus of law enforcement. We've forgotten law enforcement is not the most dangerous job in this country. Actually, that's firemen and construction workers. Police are more like 20th on the list of most dangerous jobs in this country. Good way to verify that is just to do a crunch the numbers. 15,000 people have been killed by police officers during arrests. 15,000. Out of that, when they are saying, I felt my life was in danger, I felt threatened, a.k.a. yada yada. Only 139 officers have had charges filed, have had the prosecution actually review what they've said happened or what went on. Only eight have been convicted. 15,000 deaths. Doesn't matter how many were disputed. That's how many deaths happened. And even if they're disputed, only 139 were ever really investigated. Because when you're dead, the last man standing gets to say what really happened. Thirty-nine, that includes Chavin, have been convicted out of 15,000. Out of 139 that were actually looked at. Eight. Just think about that. How many people have said I was innocent? How many people have said I didn't have a weapon? And now different departments are becoming hesitant about releasing the body cam footage. You have to remember the foundation of adding body cam was to both protect the civilian and the officer. If you're good, if you know it was a good shot, you know you had no other choice. Why are departments now digging in their heels about releasing the body cam footage? Others are saying they don't want people to use their own personal camera to record them. Seriously, you're refusing to release the body cam footage, but you're also trying to hold people to a misdemeanor if they use their own camera to record. You can't have it both ways. Either you release that body cam footage immediately under the care of an objective reviewer, not the chief, not the union, not the officers, an objective third party who immediately gets that. Or you need a server somewhere where those that, that camera is immediately loaded onto there, out of the hands of the officers, away from interested parties who want to hold on to it for a couple of days. This needs to happen. And no, your chief doesn't get to say, no, we're not going to release it. Hell no. Your public servants release the footage. There was a young man shot the other day. Another one in Virginia. Called 911 because his car broke down. Officer actually drove him home. At that point, wow, you're not 
private taxi service, but I salute you for going a little bit above and beyond and taking that person home. He gets there. He then called 911 to take him back to his car. Witnesses. All he had in his hand was a cell phone. The same officer came back and shot him 10 times. What happened? Between you dropping him off and going back and then getting a call to come back, that you opened fire on an unarmed man. It makes no sense. Yet, this is the most dangerous job there is. Remember what I said. 15,000 have been killed or shot between 2005 and 2020. How many officers died in the line of duty? 2,406. I don't want that number to be equal in amount. But I damn sure like that 15,000 to drop considerably. Our officers need to mandatorily have to have insurance. And they need to have a license. If you choose to move from the East Coast to the West Coast, you'll be able to take that license along with you. But you'll also see if you've got write-ups. You'll also see if you've, you've, been, you've had complaints of abuse of power tied to that license. And there needs to be a cutoff point with that license. Well, you will lose it. And no other Police office can hire you without that license. You can't get another one without them backtracking and checking your record. Well, you lost your license due to abuse of someone in your custody, theft, assault of someone. No, we can't. We can't co-sign a license for you. No, you can't come from California to New York, or from New York to California, or from New York to Texas, and get hired on. We see your record. Your license was suspended. We can't co-sign a license for you to get one here. No. You cannot be a member of law enforcement. We see your record. And we're not paying for that. That is what we need. The George Floyd Policing Act is due to come up. It needs to. It really does. It's in the hands of the Senate now. We'll see whether they do the right thing. But this cannot continue. The world is literally literally going, we have no idea what's going on in America. We understand that they like to own their guns, but what about responsibility? What about holding their police members, their law enforcement officers? Why not holding them, why are they not holding them accountable? They've been allowed to run wild and free, and it's time for that crap to stop. I said it and I'll say it again. Our police, our law enforcement, who we like to say, back the blue. We forget they started out as slave catchers. They became the buddy of gangsters in the 20s and 30s. In the 50s and 60s, there were members of the KKK who, who, who would look up and see a person hanging from a tree from a hanging tree, and go, oh my, they must have committed suicide. And there's no stool, 
no nothing, no way how they hung themselves. The crosses burned in front yards, and they show up and go, Mmm, looks like y'all had a fire. Because it didn't care. The 1970s and 1980s, the crack epidemic. No one ever said, how are these drugs getting into the inner city? Right now, over the last 20 years, meth and heroin. How's it getting in those suburbs, those upper class suburbs? How's it getting there? Amazing. Somehow, two and two is there, but they still can't figure it up to be four. And today, today, every other day, a person of color and some people who are not people of color are turning up dead. What do they call it? Suicide by cop? Oh, we thought they had a weapon. We thought they were a threat. I felt they were a threat to me. Yeah. In that case, the lieutenant who continued to drive till he got into a well-lit area felt the flashing lights of the cruiser behind him were a threat, were a danger. But, of course, he should have complied. If he did, on the side of a dark road, the only story that would have that could have wound up being told would have been the officer's story. And it could be anything he wants it to be. This shit has got to change. We've got to improve it. We'll see where it goes. Y'all have a good evening. Tea time with tea. Just a little conversation. Remember, trust the tea, not the Kool-Aid. Night.